Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatchesnet here, and today we have two Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy uh, Golden Disc Collection boxes, and um, there, there's actually part of a set of four, but uh, I only wanted two of them, and one of them is Mutant Tagatron, also known as the Evil Tagatron because, you know, he's a bad guy in this, and then of course Pterosaur. Which, uh, it's weird it came out as an Amazon exclusive before it came out in general retail, but whatever. Anyway, Deluxe, Voyager, and uh, the story goes, there were some time travel hijinks and uh, Tegatron got altered. And so Pterosaur warped him further and made him into a Predacon. And uh, when we get back, we're going to take a look at both of these guys. So here we are in the void, and as you can see, I have in front of you uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Golden Disc Collection Tigatron, which is on your left, and on your right is Pterosaur. And for the life of me, for the some for some reason, I always thought Pterosaur was spelled T-E-R-R-A-Sor, and Tigatron was spelled Tigertron, but apparently I got them backwards. Anyway, uh, Tigatron is a Voyager class. Pterosaur is a deluxe class, and you see next to them their mold mates. To the left, you see uh, the original Tigatron, or Tigatron, as it is supposed to be. And then to the uh, right of Pterosaur, or Terrorosaur, and I'm going to get it wrong continually, uh, but this is going to be Air Razor. And the funny thing is, you look at Air Razor and Pterosaur, and they are the more or less same ish mold. But um, Pterosaur is a little bit bigger. Now, before I get too much further, I do have one QC issue, and it's really Pterosaur's left wing, which is this one right here, uh, left for him, right for you. Uh, it keeps coming up. Now, I'm told it's not an uncommon issue. So, whatever. Uh, Larkin's Lair has, like, a fix for loose plastics that you can check out on his website. I forget the name of the thing, whatever. But, um... Uh, 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 Terrasaur also came with a golden disc here, and uh, you can see the weapons they all come with is, is you know, on her hips, uh, these pieces here on his arms, this gun here, his gun and tail, and his gun and tail. So uh, before we get into the figures, let's look at the boxes, and um, oh, you know, maybe this is a QC issue, I guess, technically. Uh, the feet on these guys suck. Uh, on the uh, on this particular mold here, so we're just gonna stick it aside and start with a uh, pterosaur's box, which on the back, of course, has him in his two forms. And uh, inside is the cardboard packaging, which is eco friendly, which I appreciate. Uh, and then, of course, you got the instructions. And uh, in here, somewhere, yeah, there's the don't hurt yourself paper, and uh, it's the same thing with Tigertron, Tigotron. And uh, the, the boxes aren't otherwise fancy beyond this design set up here. And uh, here we are. Now, we put them aside and we have to take a closer look at the figures. So, starting with uh, Tigertron here. Uh, Tigertron. Ugh, I'm going to keep correcting myself and it's going to be annoying for both of us. Uh, I just, I love the detail on both of them, the fur detail, the coloring on the mutant Tegatron. Of course, this head here on him is supposed to be the, the original toy version prior to the cartoon coming out, which ends up being this version here. I actually dig this overall look, but I love the colors on this guy. Classic, new, uh, apparently supposed to be somewhat the original, I guess, some toy that never got released, but uh, pretty awesome. Here's the back of them. They have these openings here, but these get filled with the feet when they fold in, and uh, it's it's spectacular. Now uh, I have videos for uh, Air Razor and Tigertron, uh, so you can check those out if you want to get a little bit different details. But um, these guys stand okay because they have these little kickstands here. But then we get to Pterosaur, and um, the wing comes right off. It, there's nothing holding it in there. Um, I'm not quite sure why. The other wing is perfectly fine. And just visually looking at it, it just looks like the piece isn't, uh, the lip on it isn't as protruding. So there's nothing keeping the wing in. 
So my thought was maybe cut out a piece of wire just to fill the gap here and then use some of that stuff that Larkin said and uh, kind of seal it in there. And I, that might work because I still want the wing to be able to move, obviously. And uh, here is uh, Air Razor. Now, as I mentioned, uh, she is a little bit smaller. Uh, they did heavily, or I say heavily, um, they tweaked a couple things. Uh, the legs, the knees down are, are basically the same, the different feet. Uh, but it looks like his thighs are a little bit beefier. So it makes him a little bit taller and the transformation doesn't um, go in as fully in the, the gut. Or maybe I mistransformed it. Uh, hold on, let's see if I can. It looks like, that looks like it's it. Yeah, it's there a little bit, but still he's a little bit beefier. I mean, you can clearly see his legs are a little bit beefier. And uh, his transformation for his head is pretty much just hide it in the back here, which uh, is okay, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna move this guy out of the way because I'm bumping him. And uh, I wanna show this wingspan off before I forget. And uh, it is, is pretty decent. Now, if we put him back here, we try to get him to stand up. Uh, every, the feet are in ball joints, which is half the problem or half the battle as it were in G.I. Joe. And uh, get her, the, the wingspan there is different, but you know, her, hers are wider on here and here's a tip down there, but uh, see if we can compare them back to back. Yeah, it's, it's a different experience, but there's some wingspan on these guys. And uh, that is pretty fantastic. I dig it. Now the transformations are the same for the Tigertrons and different for these two. Now I showed in her video the transformation, uh, which required a little bit of tucking and pulling things out. And um, his is, is different in more, mainly the scope of the head. Everything else seems to be pretty much the same. So let's get right into it since he is the, the one that's gonna be a little bit different. And uh, he still has that piece where his, you have to straighten out his arms and over his wrist bend them. It seems, it's un, very unnatural looking. You bend them like that. And then you got to grab a hold of his torso and kind of pull it down like this. And what you're trying to do is put his head into the cavity back here and then swivel his bird head. And, and then put the arms in there. See what I said about the, the wing? His arms kind of fill in the cavity there. And then, uh, let's see if I can get this done. There we go. Flip the back here. You might have to move the tail out of the way a little bit, which is fine. Then, uh, there is, you gotta, I believe you have to turn these 180 and then the feet because what you end up doing is there's these little clips here and you're going to end up putting the legs into the clips. And you see the little holes here and uh, holds the legs in like that. Fold the legs down and these little spikes might get in the way, but they're on five millimeter or three millimeter pegs. So you can pull them out if you need be. Uh, I just tuck the legs in a little bit so they're out of the way. And get the little bird toes. It, it does pretty decent, I think. And uh, can mount the gun on his thigh here. Clutter here kind of keeps it from being perfectly. You know what? We'll forget it. We'll forget it. Anyway, wing goes back on. Straighten out the wings. And. Here is his bird mode. And uh, it's decent enough. Yeah, you got, it looks like a pterodactyl. Here's him flying. Pretty. There we go. That's nifty there. And then we're going to pop out and come back. And I'm going to show you Air Razor in her alt form. Okay, so here is Air Razor in her bird form, and we confer, uh, confirm, we can 
<laughs> we uh, compare her to uh, pterosaur's pterodactyl form and uh, a pterosaur form. I mean, is he literally pterosaur the pterosaur? Um, so you can see the slight differences. Of course, they made uh, some changes. Again, for his mass is a little bit more. But uh, if you want to know more about mass, talk to uh, Gotbot. That is what he does. He'll measure it. Uh, it'd be not, I, I wonder if, if and when he does get pterosaur, if I'm right about him being a little bit heavier. I do have a scale, but it never occurs to me by the time I record these to actually check it out. But uh, you can see the similar construction. And the arms are doing a lot of heavy lifting, I guess. They're kind of holding the torso and the waist together because um, they just peg in there. And, and it's not a tight connection by any means. But on the plus side, ter Pterosaur is more filled out. He doesn't have this gap like here on Air Razor. Although Air Razor, I guess the back of her head is supposed to kind of look like chest fur or feathers or whatever. But I don't know if it's quite pulling it off. But uh, yeah, that's it for those guys. Now, we'll put them in the back here and get the Tigertron. Now, the transformation for Tigertron is uh, pretty much the same. I mean, literally, it is exactly the same as the the other version. And uh, it, it, as you see, it, we, if we start going with this, fold in the spurs, move the legs back, pull these feet forward, because what's going to happen is that piece is going to pop in. There it is. So there we go there. And then we have to pull the head out and we are going to kind of fold up the arms. Now they they do this thing where, let me see if I can get it, pop these out here. And we got to fill in a cavity because uh, this piece makes the chop of the chest. And then we have a piece that makes the bottom. And uh, you got to kind of rotate it as you fit it in because you need to get them all lined up. And I'm trying to remember if there is some type of catch because I need everything to line up. But let's see if I can do this. I need that piece to be back out here. Because you see they go together, but you can see right now they're too low. So they're supposed to be a little further down. And... Uh, Yep, there we go. Because it is double jointed back there to kind of cover up this top piece, or I should say this waistband, I guess. And uh, there we go. Now, theory, close down these sides here. I should be able to get, there we go. And we've closed off the chest. And then the head comes apart and you fold the mutant head in and you get the back of the tiger head and voila. So then the remainder of this is just positioning legs. And uh, here's the tail. And then you can just mount this uh, brain gun, I guess what they call it down there. And uh, voila, and then when we get back, we will see the other Tigertron in his Tiger form. Now you may be asking yourself, hey, Tony, why would you buy a second Tigertron? We know you love Beast Wars and G1, and this guy is technically, I mean, he was the toy-ish version, but, you know. Um, reason being because, frankly, a big old Tiger looks cool. I mean, if you could see my bedroom from my childhood, uh, I have a Bengal Tiger poster from Zoo Books hanging up there. Bengal Tigers are one of my favorite cats. As you see, these guys generally look exactly the same. Uh, their little kitty mouths move. Um, let's see if I can get the mouth open. Yep, yeah, there you go. Little teeth. Little teeth. Although they did a better job coloring the inside of this one's mouth uh, because you can actually see gums and whatnot, but they did nothing with this one here. But I guess the savings are on the fact that the mold is already paid for. So you can throw a little extra paint on the, the selects one, but uh, or the golden disc version. But otherwise, I mean, they're exactly the same. Nothing new about them. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about these guys. Uh, I, I think they're awesome. I 
the bonus Tagatron is great. Uh, I kind of wish that the Air Razor slash Pterosaur mold was a little bit more um, sturdy. But, you know, you got to get them from very small alt modes to the taller bot modes. So I kind of understand these sacrifices were made, but um, I, I, don't, I don't... The arms holding in the torso or the waist to the torso kind of is like... I feel like there could have been a better way of doing it. Although I do, again, appreciate Pterosaur's better looking chest. Trade-offs were made. I kind of wish his wing was better. But, you know, again, that's fixable. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.